your boy Corey here, aka Crasher, bring you guys a new video, and ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present you guys with some more lighthearted and humorous content. Let's get on with the video. Alright fam, so in this video, we are going to be taking a look at some ego lifters. Now, if you guys don't know what ego lifting is, it's basically, in translation, lifting a lot more than what your body is capable of, and your form is just absolute shit. But we have a video here that was surprisingly recommended to me by YouTube, titled, The 15 Most Stupid Ego Ego lifters in bodybuilding. So we're going to check this out. Links to stuff will be in the description down below. Let's see what we got going on here. And oh, wait. No, I recognize this guy right from the get go. Wow. I'm already speechless, honestly. Like, those look like all of the fucking weights at the gym. Like, holy shit. Seriously? Dude, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not going to move that bar. <laughs> the only way that bar is moving is it being bent by the weights. That's the only way it's moving in the first place. How much weight is on there anyways? Like, I, I can't even count all that much on the spot. Jesus. Dude, just lower the weight. That's all you got to do. Like, you're doing, like, knee twitches at best. You're going to fuck your knees up. This one is oh, my stupid, God. Okay, let's see this. He really wants to lift the weight. Watch All right. The guy in the background. He must I wonder how much that is, anyways. This man lifts that weight. Holy I'm cow. Cancel my gym membership. Oh, he looks pretty jacked. Let's see how this goes. All right. Get them up, get them up, get them up, get them up. Left side's a bit weak, but all right. He got it. Well, okay. That was, that was just one right there. He was able to get the oh. One Smith machine and two spotters. Wow. Of them is the guy that <laughs> if you need to have that much help on a fucking Smith machine, like, holy shit, dude! Are are you absolutely kidding me? Another gym, another Smith machine. Okay, we got another guy with the Smith machine here. What? What the hell? Dude, the safety racks are in place. It's like limiting his range of motion. He's like. You know, jerking his body up like what? The, oh my god! And another Smith machine, I think. Oh my god! All right, that's a lot of weight right there, buddy. You sure you should be doing that? <laughs> Jesus! All right, well let's see, let's see that. Uh, Was that it? Dude, that's like that was like a negative sixty-nine when it comes to reps right there. Oh my god! All right, let's see this. Dude, nice elbow twitches. What the hell? Okay, well, I'm no more Smith machines. Are you kidding me? Dude, just just lower the weight. Work your way up. It's not that hard. Oh my god, we got Brad Castleberry. Apparently, he uses fake weights. You know, he's one of the more controversial figures in the bodybuilding community. He does look pretty ripped, though. He always does that fucking pose, too. It's like, how do those fake weights feel, bro? How do they feel with that juiced up body of yours? Okay. Alright, let's see this. Okay. Finally, 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 like, we got some free weight action going on. Okay. Oh, God, man. Come on. Just lower the weight and increase your range of motion. This is legit. Okay, let's see this. For your vertical jump. But the only jump oh, this my God. does is when he jumps from his ego level to his IQ level. <laughs> oh, roasted! Dude. If you cannot oh, my God. It, you shouldn't talk about it. All right, let's see this. Today how much he squatted anyway. That... What is up with, like, these quarter rep squats, man? Seriously. Lower the weight and do full range of motion, or, or at least go down to your quads are parallel. Okay. Why would he lift that shit with his fucking pinkies? What is he trying to prove with that? Honestly. That he's got strong fingers? Okay. How much weight is that, though, is the question? Oh, shit, the bar is bending. The bar is bending. It's probably an old-ass bar right there. 
What a beast. Or oh, what do you think? While oh my god. Clip oh no. Killed, this one is even more stupid. Coach I agree. Clients and advice on how to why 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 have that much weight and that and that much health for spotters? Dude, you're going to break the fucking machine. Like are you kidding me? Oh my god. Holy shit, man. Are you absolutely kidding me? Wow. Dude, if the, if that if that breaks. Well, thank God, thank God for the safety, the safety rails. Some say this guy was Man. In the gym. All right, let's see this now. He's trying to. He's looks like he's going to deadlift here. <laughs> Mike Tyson. All right, let's see this. Let's see this. That's it? He didn't even do it. Oh God. So he's got so much freaking weight on, plus like weight belts with more weight hanging off of that shit. Are you kidding me? All right, let's, let's fucking see how this train wreck is gonna go. Oh my god. All right, let's see this. And yeah, take your time, buddy. Take your time. You don't. You don't want to. You want to make sure you got your uh, ego nice and souped up, eh? Let's see. Okay. Anytime now. Dude, you're never going to be a Ronnie Coleman, man. That dude's a fucking legend. <laughs> come on. Come on. You set it up. Lift it up. Uh, no? No? Oh, is that it? I guess it is. Oh, my God. Woo! This video makes me miss when I used to binge watch Jim Idiot videos. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> man, do I have some things to say about what we just seen right here? Like, holy shit. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at some of the moments that really stood out here in this video. And it is incredibly difficult to narrow it down. I'm spoiled for choices, but let's go ahead and let's get into this. So these are what I like to call the Twitch Lifters, and why I say Twitch Lifting is because basically their range of motion is just a fucking Twitch! Like seriously, are you kidding me? We have ourselves a lot of examples here, such as the Smith Machine Incline Bench Press. The guy is just twitching his elbows, that is it. And we have ourselves another case where he's jerking his whole body up to get the weight up, like all what? one and a half inches of range of motion and let's also not forget about the guy that loads up the smith machine when he's doing a seated shoulder press but it's not even a shoulder press it's like elbow twitching like seriously how hard is it to comprehend lowering the weight and exercising with correct form so that way it benefits you in the long run even more so than what you're doing which is a one-way ticket to snap city next up in the entry i like to title this three idiots one smith machine and i'm just gonna say this much if you have this much difficulty on the smith machine even with two spotters you should probably lower the weight i'm just saying okay it doesn't help trying to pile on 800 some odd pounds worth of barbell weight to try to make yourself look strong but when you actually go to perform that exercise you just look like an idiot like I don't know what else I can say about that you straight up look like an idiot lower the weight down correct your range of motion work your way up the results will be 10 times better I can assure you unless you want to take residence in snap city then go nuts but let's talk about in my opinion the biggest ego lifter here out of the whole bunch and that was what we seen at the start with the guy having I think all the weights in his local gym strapped on the bar and just somehow held in place and held together when he was trying to do a squat but he couldn't even get the barbell off of the rack that's how you know you are way, way out of your depth and you really, really, really shouldn't be doing this shit. 
And I definitely think that your knees are going to hate you for this. And there's actually other videos on the internet floating around of this guy doing the same sort of shit, but with different exercises, such as with on the leg press, where he's trying to leg press a crap ton of weight, trying to be like Roddy Coleman, but all he's doing is just knee twitches. That's literally it. It's like, seriously, twitching yourself is not going to have any solid benefits for you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much all I have to say here for this video. And to all of you guys that are watching this, that are looking to get into weightlifting, take this as grade A lessons on what not to do at the gym, okay? Check yourself before you wreck yourself, all right? Like, really and truly, consult a personal trainer that actually knows what the fuck they're doing and learn from those that actually know how to perform the exercise correctly. Take it from someone that's been weightlifting for over 14 years, you know what I mean? But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it here for the video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys do enjoy these kind of videos, let me know in the comments down below. I do love hearing from you guys. And I just want to say once again, thank you guys so very much for showing an immense amount of support over my last few videos. They haven't exactly been easy topics to deal with, but your guys' support makes this whole thing all the more worth it and then some. So that's why I call you guys legends. You guys are fucking awesome. Don't y'all ever forget it. Have yourself a damn good night, and I'll see you guys in the next one.